welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my October spooky Halloween TBR. I'm so excited. October is my favorite time of the year and you guys will see I have a lot of great videos planned this month. There's so many like spooky creepy books that I've been saving to read for October and I'm really excited to share them with you guys. So I do want to mention that there are two readathons that I am participating this month. The first one is Spookathon and the second one is Witchathon and I will probably be doing individual TBR for those. I'm thinking that I'm going to daily vlog during one of them, probably Spookathon. Most of the books I'm showing you right now will probably end up on those TBRs, but I have a feeling I'm going to finish reading all of these books before the readathons even start, so I'll probably have a bunch of brand new books to read. So yeah, I'll be doing those TBRs in um, separate videos. The first book that is on my TBR is Toil and Trouble, which is an anthology of witchy stories, and it is edited by Jessica Spotswood and Tess Sharp. There's a bunch of authors who have written in here, Brandy Colbert, Emery Lord, Elizabeth May, Anna Marie McLemore. I'm really excited for this. I've heard really great things and so there's 15 stories in here. I think what I'll do is like read one every couple of nights and try to stretch this out through the whole month. Or honestly probably what's gonna happen is that I'm just gonna read them all at once because <laughs> I have no self-control. The next book is Strange Grace by Tessa Groton. I've heard really amazing things about this from our viewers who I have similar reading taste to. The back says, once a grace witch made a pact with the devil. The story says they loved each other, but can the story be trusted at all? So basically in this village, every like seven years, I think, the best boy in the village, whoever is the best boy, gets sacrificed to the devil so that the village can have another seven years of prosperity and good luck. But the slaughter moon has come early, so they must sacrifice their best boy. And this follows three points of views. One of them is a girl whose mother is a witch and her father was a previous best boy who was sacrificed before she was born. Another point of view is this year's current best boy. And then the third point of view is of Arthur. Basically Arthur's mother raised him as a girl so that no one would know he was a boy so he couldn't be sacrificed. And I also think that there's a polyamorous relationship between these three characters which I'm super excited about because I've never seen that in young adult. I'm so excited for this book. <laughs> the next book on my TBR this month is Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco. This is the third book to Stalking Jack the Ripper which I really liked. Audrey Rose and Thomas are on their way to America and they're on this cruise ship and then murders start happening. This next book is probably the one that I'm most excited by and that is The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. This sounds so cool. Basically there is a murder, a woman named Evelyn Hardcastle is murdered and the main character in this book is named Aiden. Basically every single day for eight days he wakes up in the body of one of the eight witnesses and he's able to experience the murder through that person's point of view. And so he has eight days to go through all the eight different witnesses and figure out who the murderer was. Also, I think it's funny because this book was published in the UK, I think at the beginning of this year. It was called The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, but when it came to the US, they changed the title to The Seven and a Half Deaths because it was way too similar to The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Those titles are so similar. I literally thought that this was connected to it when I first saw it, but it's not. They're totally different, not connected at all. The next book wasn't originally on my TBR, but I was sent it for review from Scholastic and it sounds really good, so it is called Witchborn by Nicholas Bowling. And basically this takes place in 16th century England and the main character, Alice, her mother was just executed for being a witch and she is sent to Bedlam Asylum. While she's there, is approached by these two masked strangers and they give her an opportunity to escape and then she learns all these different secrets. This just sounds really cool. And I really like historical books that have like a magical twist to it. So the next couple books on my TBR I don't have physical copies of. The first one is Vengeful by V.E. Schwab and this is the sequel to Vicious, which I actually just reread Vicious a couple days ago and oh my god, I love this book so much. When I read it for the first time over four years ago, I gave it five stars and I really really liked it. But upon this reread, I think I have discovered that this is one of
of my all-time favorite books. It's just so good and I love these characters. I love Victor Vale so much. He is my favorite. He's just amazing. So I am so excited to read the sequel. The next book is called Small Spaces by Katherine Arden and this is a middle grade book and basically it's about this 11 year old girl named Ollie and she had some really traumatic things happen in her life and so to cope with that she turned to books. She really loves books and reading and so one day when she's on the bus going home from school she sees this woman trying to throw a book into the lake and so her first instinct is to run over there and take the book from the woman. She goes back home and she reads the book and it's like this really creepy story about this girl and her brothers and they made a deal with someone called the Smiling Man. And then a couple days later she goes on a school trip to a cemetery and she sees the graves of the people in the story that she was reading. And after that just a lot of really creepy weird stuff starts happening to her. I have never read anything by Catherine Arden but I really have been wanting to read The Baron the Nightingale so hopefully reading this will kind of give me the push to finally read that. The next book I want to read is Contagion by Erin Bowman. This is a sci-fi book about this skeleton crew who receives an SOS from another crew on a distant planet so they go on a search and rescue mission and when they get there they find the entire planet is abandoned and the entire crew is dead and so they're trying to figure out what happened and there's like some creepy monster creatures roaming about. This just sounds really cool. It totally reminds me of Prometheus. It reminds me of those type of movies, which I have a really big fear of space. Like, I love space. I think it is super interesting and fascinating. I love learning about it, but from a distance. Space can stay up there. I'll stay down here. I don't wanna go there. So stories like this, really freak me out and I'm just excited to be scared. The last thing on my TBR, I had to read something by Mira Grant. I received an early copy of her novella called Kingdom of Needle and Bone. This comes out in December. Basically all I know about this is this is like what will happen if anti-vaxxers get their way. So basically people stop getting vaccinations and then all of a sudden these really horrible diseases start popping up and killing everybody and it follows a doctor who's trying to figure out how to save everybody. I think Mira Grant is amazing at horror. She wrote my favorite horror book which is called Into the Drowning Deep. I love it so much so I'm really excited to read this. That's everything that is for sure on my TBR. That was only like nine books and I'm definitely gonna read way more than that so I probably will end up watching like everyone else's TBRs and seeing what other spooky books people are reading. If you have any recommendations of spooky books you want me to read or that you think I would like, please, please comment down below with them because I'm always looking for more. I just want all the spooky things this month. I wanna read all the spooky books. I wanna watch all the spooky movies. I want it all. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.